goodness. No snazzy introduction for us, then. Current objective, find a way out of this place. Control for crouch, Q and E for leaning. Let's pray we actually use those. Press F for shadow hold. That sounds exciting. I'm pressing and nothing much is happening. Um, press right click for teleporter. Right, that works. Whoa. Obtain a key card and press V for visual scan. Visual scan, or as the rest of us say, have a look. <laughs> All right. Goodness, I think I have escaped from this tube. Man alive, I've got some real talons on me, haven't I? Goodness. Anyway, so good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'd better actually introduce the game and say hello, hadn't I? Um, yes, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And... A few flashback. Welcome to a game called Shadowbringer. Are you awake? I'm hungry. Who are you? When you're hungry, I'm hungry as well. That is all you need to know. Now, let us leave this place. Memory of a white room. Memory of white gowns. You try to hold on to the memories, but before you know it, they are gone. Goodness. Is that being experimented on, perhaps? How, um, how exciting. So, yes, I still think with shadow hold this thing. Um, maybe that's something I can only do when I'm, like, near a person or something. Goodness, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That hurts me a lot. So I'm a creature that dwells in the darkness, then. Alright. Um, objective updated. Open the door. What does this document say? Shadowbringer Subdivision. Subject number 217M. Genetic assimilation is successful. Compatibility rate under 40%. Apparently in stasis mode, locked away in inner chamber for ongoing experiments. When new batch of redacted arrives, start the indoctrination process. Presumably they were a new batch of um, employees or something. Right then, so the only thing I know about this game is that it involves a bit of stealth. Scan key card. Huzzah. Continue the escape. Oh my word, that's one of the best things I've ever read in a game. Ooh. Are these other people that are going to grow into Shadowbringers? Like me. At least I think I'm a Shadowbringer. Um, so yeah, apparently it involves a bit of stealth. Which is going to go really well, because we on that I'm about as stealthy as an atom bomb. So that's going to go well. Now, can I do anything with you? Aha! Here is the shadow hold. What does this do? <gasps> it's like a silent takedown! I can be... Well, I was going to say I can be like Batman. To be honest with you, I don't think Batman chokes people and then has them eaten by an ulterior realm. I think that's a bit more, um... A bit more, uh, SCP... Whatever his number is. 106, I think his number is. Press V to use extrasensory perception to see enemies or items through walls. Mm. We've got extrasensory perception. Right, sorry. I'll stop singing hilarious novelty songs from the 60s and actually get on playing a game, shall I? Is there a thing... Yeah, there's something on top of this, I think, which might be of interest or importance. I can't climb up by jumping on top of this guy. Oh, goodness. Cl clambering! Man, I haven't seen the word clambering written down in my life. I say it all the time, but I've never read it before. Press space to uh, climb on nearby surfaces. Ah, cool. Very cool. All right, then. The power is out, and the pod should open soon. I have to run before they find out what I did. I'll leave my keycard here. They should help you get out of this room. This is all I can do. Good luck. Goodness. So it's like somebody wasn't very pleased about the experiments that they were doing on me and was trying to help me escape. I am very appreciative of this. Can I do more, um, do more of my shadow hole? I really enjoyed doing that. Oh, goodness, I don't want to go that way. It's interesting, we've got to have all the, uh... We've got to, we've got to avoid the light, we don't like it. Um, I can't use this, I can't teleport through it either, can I? Can I teleport through the lights, perhaps? So I can dodge the lights by... This seems like a prison cell. I don't much like it here. <laughs> I can dodge the lights by teleporting through them. How exciting. Alright then, fair enough. Checkpoint reached. Excellent. Does that mean I'm in danger and about to die? That's normally what a checkpoint indicates. There might be a, a health box over there, which might be of interest. Uh, let's read this document. Monthly security review number 74. Topic, security personnel. Our security personnel are well trained and ready to face emergency situations. 
They are fit, attentive, and fearless. They'd charge towards a threat without hesitation and pursue them relentlessly until the threat is gone. They make for a great patrol and deterrent to any would-be intruder. However, the biggest flaw is how they refuse to monitor the security cams properly. <laughs> that seems like a big flaw, I agree. They always either fall asleep on the job or are distracted instead of watching the camera for any signs of trouble. Further training and disciplinary action are needed to resolve this issue, otherwise the budget spent on the installation of the cameras will be worthless. A geeky gitty almost saw me. A person saw me, a sneaky person. Come here, sneaky person, and prepare to be... Well, I don't know exactly what it is I'm doing to you, but it's very fun, I know that much. Goodness. Um... Why don't they monitor the cameras? I mean, I love that they don't monitor the cameras, but that seems like a big flaw. You think if you were hiring people for a security force, being able to check and monitor a camera system would be quite an important element of that job. All right, can I use any of these medkits? I don't think so. My health seems to regenerate. At least it regenerated after that thing that I did. Mm-hmm. View your opponent from a safe distance. All right. I always feel like these leaning mechanics never let you lean far enough that you really need to crane your neck around a corner sometime, but never mind. Alright, some useful things in there. What does this say? Employee cafe. Ca cafe. Get out. Coffee as cheap as 10 US dollars. I presume this is set quite far in the future then, if the inflation has gotten that bad. Alright, let's see what this document says before we trot on. Uh, laboratory ex. Experiment room. An accident occurred during Material X training. Setting procedure normally until Dr. X can drop Solution X into a slide of tissues. The solution began to spill out a dark foam like substance across the lab space. An unidentified object then leaped out from the foam and clung onto Dr. X. Lab security proceeded to escort Dr. X out of the room. We would like to request safety measures to be implemented before future experimentations. Goodness. Did they create some sort of some sort of material that can act as a um, a portal between sort of my world and theirs, perhaps? Because I could certainly make portals to send them into my world. So uh, uh, I don't much like it. No, actually, I don't really need to teleport, do I? No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, let me just get rid of that. There we go. Because um, I can just sort of follow this as it switches off. Because I have some rather conveniently gammy electrics, which will uh, work to my advantage. Anyone over there? Yes, there is someone over there. Actually. Goodness. Somebody was spilling the blueberry jam all over the place. I love the effect coming off my flesh. That sort of odd, ashy feeling. It's, it's very pretty. All right then, I wish to do sneaking. Oh goodness, there's somebody being not very sneaky over there. Oh, I can, I can. Oh goodness, oh goodness, oh goodness. I have a bad, bad, bad feeling about this. Oh, that's no, fine. I need to. Kids, you aren't have a bad feeling about this. I need to wait until they're a bit further separated from each other. Hello. Because I feel like this makes noise. Conveniently, I don't leave any bodies behind, which is mightily useful. See, he can't see a body. Because I didn't leave one. I'm going to make another one, however, and then I'm going to send it to my, um... Send it to my other realm to have dinner with later. Right. I think they begin to detect me as I do that. Not that it matters much by then, because they have been caught. Alright then. Doesn't look like there's any documentation here. Nothing else I can read. Nope. Okay then. Let's continue on our little journey. A few secondary flashback. What does this say? Dark, foamy water, piercing needles, agonizing screams, and then a deafening silence. Why is this all I can remember? Because it's when we were born. But you wish to know more, don't you? Let us go to the laboratory, and we will find what they stole from you. Goodness. I feel like there's... I think the white might be sort of actions, what's going on, and the red is dialogue from various different people. Well, that's nice, I'd like to think my career is going the same way, but I have a funny feeling it's not. Right, um... I think it announced what floor I was on, but I could barely hear it. Um, 
There's a second door there, but I'm not going to be able to get through that. Alright then. Is this steam uh, painful? No. Okay, right. We had to figure that out eventually. I'm glad we figured it out sooner rather than later. Goodness, there's lots of people in there. Find another key card. Operating room, research room, break room, security and storage. Well, none of those are the laboratory, which is where I need to be. Let me see what I can find at the end of this event. Can... There's a lot of similes to Batman here. I feel like there's someone behind me. Another room. That's good. I do wish the um, crouching was a thing you turned on and off rather than having to hold it down to crouch. Because obviously in a stealth game, you want to be crouched the majority of the time. So, um, goodness, it's very well lit in there, isn't it? <laughs> but again, the electrics are very, very gammy. Ah, are you going to come through this door? No, you're not. I am going to try and catch you, however. This, this, this really, this really isn't. Oh dear! Oh dear! <laughs> well, I told you I was in sneaky as a fart during a minute silence at a church, so um, <laughs> that didn't go very well. Never mind. Oh, aha! I'm gonna have another go at this. Aha! I have got you now. No, I don't. That's better. Think you can do whatever it was that you did to me? Well, you can't. You big smelly person. Right then. Getting through there is going to be a little trickier than the lights. Let me have a wee wander around the rest of this place first and see if there's anything else of much interest before I go a wander in. What is that in the centre table? There's something very interesting over there. This looks important. Aha! Another key card. Right, let me read this. From preliminary observations, material X appears to be an inorganic. Uh, it appears to be inorganic by nature. When it comes in contact with organic tissue, it begins to rapidly foam and become highly volatile. In what seems like a process of a parasite taking control of its host, the being subject, subjected to this takeover will begin to react violently and instinctively, trying to get away from any bright light source. The substance is unlike anything we have seen, having the properties that make the host extremely powerful. Further experimentation is required in order to find a method to uh, utilize it. Interesting. So maybe I'm not a demon from another world, or another realm even. Perhaps instead, I am just an innocent person, which has somehow been affected. Ow, my face. Just some I I I'd like to read that, but I'm not... Will it freeze while I do that? Hopefully. Um... I feel like maybe I was just an innocent person that got exposed to this substance. Material X, the name of what they took from you. Identity, warmth, light, a home. Everything disappeared and was replaced by darkness. And that was how we were trapped in this form, as a monster. Yes, I was just a regular person and then somehow this Material X transformed me into this creature. Do you come round this door? No, you don't. I'm very grateful for that, because that allows me to murder you. For being employed by this mean-faced company. I need to sneak. He says, running around like Usain Bolt. Right, come here. Excellent. I enjoyed that. Right. I probably shouldn't, because it probably paints me as a sadistic person. But I rather enjoyed that. Alright then. I love this environment. It's so detailed. And it's quite unique and different as well. Um... I've been playing a lot of games recently where, um... Access denied. Oh, Keep hush. I've been playing a lot of games recently where they sort of reuse loads of free pre-built assets. Uh, and they've been getting on my nerves a bit recently, so it's lovely to, um... It's lovely to play something that's sort of unique and different and, uh... In its own right, rather than, um... Just something that reuses other bits of... Can I go over there, please? Oh, no, I need to let go, don't I? Sorry, I thought I needed to click for some stupid reason. Sorry, my brain's shutting down. Are you coming back this way, or are you not? Yes, you are, alright. I need to wait for him to get a little closer. Before I try to catch him. Just poke my poke my head around. There we go. I really want to go over there and, um... And try to, um... Try to be vicious with him. But it didn't seem to work. Elite guards have been deployed. Oh, goodness. Their enhanced armor is impenetrable, and their shields are capable of unleashing a devastating light flash. Oh, blast. Are there any of them in here? Yeah, that's probably one of them over there. 
Oh, that's what you meant by shield. I thought you meant like an energy shield. You don't. You mean a physical, um, like a shield of like a knight. All right then. So you are Mr. Elite, are you? Or possibly Mrs. Elite? It's difficult to tell from this distance. I need to use this. I think. What does this say? It was no accident. It was all planned. You were crushed, only to be rebuilt into a tool. Do you want revenge? If you want revenge, then I want it as well. Who am I talking to? I must System know. I feel like that man must be Access running towards me. Granted. No, no, he he get him, oh, get run away. A giddy, I can't go that way. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Luckily, their attention span is not elite. In fact, in fact, it's practically amateur. Alright. Uh, I'll wait for you to go away a bit. Go on, turn around. I want to go and read the other documentation that's over there. I didn't get a chance to. What else was here? Um, here we are, a notepad. Um, internal notes regarding incident report 453. All is proceeding according to the protocol. The organisms created from material X have taken over one of the test subjects. Oh, I think they're like a parasite. We will need to move the experiment forward to the indoctrination phase as soon as possible to avoid the same results as many previous cases where the creatures grew their own sentience and escaped from containment, such as is happening with me. We need to produce a proper results for us the Shadowbringer subdivision will be terminated. Oh, I see. So it seems to me that... You can't see me, I'm hiding behind a chair. This is going to be difficult, maybe I can go and hide behind that chair over there. Just turn around and trot off. There we go. This, 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 this isn't working. This isn't working. There's a vent up there which looks quite nice, but there's not much I can do with it. Can I get rid of you at least? There we are. At least that's one problem sorted out. <laughs> Ah, dear, what the hell? Did you see something moving over there? Or am I just going slightly barmy? Alright. How am I going to get rid of you? It was such a pain. I need to... I think I need to get down... I think I need to go down there. But I don't know how to get down there. Because I could teleport to get past him, but then I need to teleport again to get through that bright light. This is irritating. Return to the elevator. What? Oh, you mean I'm not going that way? Oh. Alright. <laughs> okay, sorry. I, I assume we were taking a linear path this. I didn't realise we were backtracking. Okay, fair enough. Um, let me go this way, because I reckon it's probably the safest path. Let me also quickly little peep around to make sure there's no... No, well, I was going to say no monsters about. I think I'm the monstrous one, frankly. Alright. Are we going up or down? Yeah, apparently we're going up again. Okay, so we've got some information out of that terminal, and now we can continue our journey. Find a way out of this place. Indeed. These great talents of mine, you'd think I'll be able to just tear a way out of my place. Head to the server room. Oh, goodness. Sorry about that, mate. Didn't see you there. There we are. That's better. Oh, that's not a thing you hold down. That's just a thing... Oh, it is a thing you hold down. It's a thing you hold down for a moment. <laughs> it's difficult to tell. It doesn't last very long. Oh, kids, here, would you go away? There's nobody here. Would you buzz off? <laughs> Dear. Right, the problem with this kid is that he doesn't go away properly. He just sort of patrols left and right, which is a massive pain in my neck. So I need to wait for him to pass by. There we are. And then I need to walk off to the right. So I get away from him. There we go. Alright. This, I can just about deal with. Let's go into these vents, because I feel vaguely safe down here, and also I don't have to hold the crouch button, which is giving my index finger a real ache. Oh good, this was an utter waste of an afternoon coming down here. Never mind. Where am I going? I know I need to access the inner chamber, but from where does one do that? I'm not too sure. 
There's no keypad lock on here. The doors that you can open with keypads seem to have, or the doors you can open with key cards even, seem to have keypads um, on the side of them. As opposed to this one, which any, anybody can open. Here we go. System breach detected. Weird that that little cube isn't tagged into their radios, but what do I know? Alright then. I don't know if that helped. I can press F on that again, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Alright. Is there another computer I need to hack? Hello! I love that you people are almost as short-sighted as I am. Um, <laughs> so, what did that do? Presumably this inner chamber is where I'm trying to access. That computer must have unlocked a door somewhere. Right, sorry about that. Small jump cuts to avert your eyes and ears from uh, having to listen to me having a small hiccuping fit. Um, the door is locked. Ah, is there another computer here? Mm-hmm! System breach detected. They still don't seem to pay any attention to me when I do that, but it's all right. We've got this door open now. Now, these security guards seriously need to be fired. They are rubbish at their jobs. Okay. Hack the central supercomputer. Oh, goodness, this is exciting. It reminds me of like a Borg Unimatrix crossed with Mr. House. All right, then. Let's see what we can find. Um, I don't know which way to go. I'm going to go this way. Do I need to hack each of these computer screens? Okay, at least I can get rid of these guys if I can break them up a little bit so that they're, um, they'll all come together. Let me get this one first. There we go. Oh, goodness! I don't know what just happened. Oh, I see. There are some lights that come on around there, are there? All right. That's annoying, but I can deal with that. I need to catch you before you go around the corner. Kitty, hold your time, man. Thank you. Goodness, there's a few too many of them at the moment. To come back and wait for my um my talons to regenerate. You'd think I could. You'd think in a pinch I could just pinch their neck with my uh with my claws to kill. Does it want me to hack these? System yes. Detected. Presumably, this is going to take slightly less time than it takes for the light to come back on. But let's say, terminal is hacked. That's happy. Hello, friend. Where are you going? Come on, make up your mind. You don't seem to be very good at making up your mind. You seem to be a little bit stuck. System breach detected. You giddy, I've been spotted. I've been spotted. I've been spotted. I've, 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 how did I manage this? <laughs> I seem to get myself stuck under a staircase. Which is impressively stupid even for me. Right. Never mind. Maybe I should start by just getting rid of all these guys. Right. But like a, a Arkham Predator encounter. I need to start by just clearing the place out. Then I can get to all of my various business. Kitty, go away. No, there's no one here. You didn't see anything. Buzz off. Great. I'm seeing things now. What? Yes, you are. Now you're going to see a few more things, such as a new dimension. A new dimension of pain. Oh, could I just... Oh, okay, so you can reach this area. I'm just not entirely sure how I managed it. I tried to teleport away. I was hoping it would teleport me up here so that I could get over here and out of line of sight more quickly. But it all seemed to backfire very quickly. Alright then. Where is the next gentleman? There is the next gentleman. Uh, I don't particularly wish to attack them when they're in there because goodness sake. Are either of you coming over here? I hope not. God, just break up a little bit. There we are. That's not unkind of me to say. I wish you two would have a breakup. There we go. Kids yield. Yeah, I don't want to get rid of them while they're in this central, central spot, because they're too dangerous in terms of the lights coming on and screwing up my day. Come on, 
Press, press, press the button, Phil. Press the button, Phil. There we are. That's better. Kitty else. Who would have thought it was so difficult to kill people? Alright. Now there's some elite ones down there. Have I dealt with everyone in here? I think so. So I could probably hack all of these computers without too much bother from the local constabulary. Alright. Let me see if I can do two of these before the light comes on. Yeah, just about. Hell, I could probably get three of them done in that much time. Yeah, I reckon I can clear the ones out from over there. They wouldn't be too difficult. Oh, I can actually reach a few of them. Okay, I can reach a few of them without actually being um too close. Presumably I need to hack each of these individual nodes, and then that will allow me access, once I've sort of penetrated the system, in order to uh, access the main computer in the... Uh, in for that bit, otherwise this would all be pointless, one presumes. And I can't imagine that all of this would be here just for the, uh... Authorization <laughs> override successful. There we are, so we need to hack six of them. Alright then, can I just have a little peek? Wow, there's loads of bits to this place. I feel like you'd need a lot more than six in order to get through here, but, uh, I'm not exactly complaining. We'll go and talk to President Eden in a minute. Um... Doesn't seem like there's anywhere else we can go. What the hell just happened to me? I'm not sure. Right, um, what does this say? New document. Uh, technical protocol self-destruction sequence. Oh, this is really like President Eden. In case of severe security breach, all data in local server rooms are to be uploaded to remote servers. After the uploading is finished, the self-destruct sequence must be initiated in order to ensure a complete wipe of evidence on site. The self-destruct sequence will overload the power source of this facility. To achieve this, three specific terminals are required to greenlight the sequence. Do know that once the sequence is initiated, access to specific exits may be sealed off to prevent escape. That seems a bit vicious. Hack into three terminals, three servers to gain authorization. What three terminals? How do I know which terminals I'm talking about? Or do I not know which three terminals I'm talking about? System breach detected. Okay. System breach detected. I know, it's all right, darling. It's all right, darling! Calm down. System breach detected. There must be some specific ones that I'm interested in. But goodness only knows which ones they are. So, I suppose I'm just going to have to hack all of them. And then some of them will be the right ones. Aha, and get rid of you. Die! Burn in the fiery pits of the shadows from whence you dragged me! Well, that'll teach them to get employed, won't it? <laughs> right. Alright, it doesn't seem like any of the ones here are much use to me. So, I am going to need to clear this place out a little bit. Unless I can use this to identify which terminals I'm interested in. What's that leading me to? Is that leading me to this terminal here? What does it say? This term is hacked. Yes. Okay, so okay, so I can use that to help me figure out which ones I'm after. That makes my job a lot easier. It's that one and that one. There's a lot of people around here, all of which would um, take inordinate volumes of pleasure from knocking my block off. So if you don't mind, I'm going to try and be sneaky about this. He says standing in front of somebody that wishes to murder him. Hello. You cretin. You big derp face. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. I want to kill you people, but it's proving difficult. For no other reason than I'm not very good at this. Oh dear. Come here. Come here. Come here. Right. I can't get rid of him, but that's alright. As long as all the rest of them are dealt with, it won't be too bad. Hmm. Yeah. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Now come here, you stupid man! <laughs> you great goosasaurus! Right, <laughs> come here. I gotta wait for the blasted thing to reload first. Come on. Now come back! Kitty yards. Stupid man! Let me just. Here we are. Let me just get this one. And sincerely hope that that man doesn't turn around in the process. There we go. Hello. You are a Norden of pain in my neck. Mind you, there don't seem to be any lights that are appearing 
in this sort of middle area like they were in the first place, which is making my life a lot easier. Um, do I want that one? Well, that's a pain because there is a light there. And this kid, wherever he's gone, okay, he's, he's trotted away. That might give me enough time. Come on, come on, come on. Increasing energy output. Energy level critical. Where's he gone? Okay. So I don't think I did need to switch on six of the terminals. I think what I needed to do was to activate one of the three key terminals, and it just happened that that was my sixth one. Right, the terminal is enabled. The screen is not quite wide enough, but don't you worry about that. Alright, let's turn this thing and send everything a bit bonkers. Escape! Um, through there, perhaps? I hope. Otherwise, I'm going to be in a pickle. Ugh, I don't want to go that way. Ugh, I don't like that. A few flashbacks. Now is not the time. I know you want to reminisce, but still. The clock of the self-destruct sequence slowly ticks down. What's next? Where do we go now? There are others like us, waiting for us. And if we want revenge, there will they will be wanting revenge as well. I cannot wait to meet them. I, okay, I, I guess we can find a, a, a nice talon-having lady friend, perhaps to um to, to 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 spend time with where am i going for goodness sake i i have no idea i need to get out of here i have died <laughs> you can't teleport upstairs take that as a can i screw my face up into anything which looks any more cross than the current one does kitty yarnt i don't approve game You've been very nice with your checkpoints thus far, but all of a sudden you've become a big meanie face. Giddy, you right, crying out loud. Give us a minute, I'll get us back to where we was and we can have another go at getting out of here before the roof caves in on our bumps. Right. I'm not going to confess how many tries that took me. Ow, my face. I'm not going to confess how many tries that took me because um, I kept rushing. I kept trying to scamper through it too fast and, and minimise the number of enemies I was attacking, uh, which was which was just totally stupid on my part. Um, where am I going? Because then I could go down there, could I? There we are. No, this was clearly the wrong place to go. Oh, kitty, I have to stand right in these little dark spots. Ow, oh, my face. Ow, oh, my face. My face. Thank you. Goodness, I suck at this. I need to be expeditious about this. I can't stand around or I'm going to die. All right. Let's hope this takes me to the exit. The mischievous corporation caught the attention of the media after its branch was devastated in an accident with its power generators. Yes, some accidents. After the incident, many of the corporate branches have gone quiet. Some seem to be continuing operations while shying away from public interactions, while others have silently closed. Within the vicinity of these closed branches, there have been strange occurrences reported. Noise complaints towards these empty buildings with no one, red lights being seen through abandoned windows, former corporation staff being reported missing. Strangers of all, however, there have been sightings of large groups walking out of the building at night, long after they have been cleared out. Their destination remains unclear. Goodness! Of course I died like 30 seconds from the end. <laughs> I always die 30 seconds from the end because I'm just that much of a stupid person. Right, that was really good. I really enjoyed that. Um, very, very nicely put together um, with just enough of a mysterious story that... Uh, Gave you a nice easy setup to work with in the beginning, with just you are a monster that that's going to get going to kill some people and sneak about, and then it actually um, introduced more a more interesting story, um, a more interesting story that uh, actually made you realise that you were more of a victim than a villain, which was interesting. But um, yeah, I really enjoyed this. The only thing I don't like is that there isn't a checkpoint when you activate the self-destruct, which I think. There maybe should be, especially since that puts you forces you to go back through the longest part of the game again. But um, yeah, that shadow bring that's really fun, very enjoyable. A very nicely put together little um, stealth game with uh, a nice little balance of um, 
fun little abilities that you can use to your advantage. I feel like the teleportation could have been made use of a little bit more, maybe. Um, and I like that there were the elite guards that you couldn't kill any, uh, you couldn't kill, because um, sometimes it felt a bit more like you were Batman than you were some sort of uh, under weaponized little sneaky person. Because um, I feel like a lot of stealth games benefit from the fact that you can't fight back, or that you're massively underpowered if you fight back, um, forcing you to be stealthy. But of course in this game you have the option to um, rip people limb from limb in your um, shadow dungeon, which is a very, very nice effect, I must say. But um, I like that there were some enemies you couldn't do that with, because it forced you to be a bit more stealthy with them, rather than more aggressive. But um, anyway... That was Shadowbringer. That was really fun. Uh, I rather enjoyed that. I hope you did as well. These are all of the cameras that these dunces here can't actually look through in order to catch me. But um, thankfully they weren't too bright. Um, yeah. Very fun. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, so thank you very much for joining this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Look after each other and good night. <laughs>